So here we're doing a test, uh, the first time I ever filmed with the EOS R. And we're filming with a, this is a, tr which, film, which lens am this I is using? It's a 105 uh, F4L IS. And it has a in-lens stabilization? It has a five-stop image stabilization, but it's also interesting, the way it works is connected to the sensor of the camera. So the sensor of the camera is detecting any camera shake. They work with the gyroscope within the lens to give you a dual IS system, so it's a much more accurate way of measuring camera shake than traditional gyroscopes, which are based on the lens or in the body. It's a pretty good uh, stabilization for a lens, right? It's brilliant with this dual system, it's because it's looking at two different types of vibration. Normally you have the high frequency one, which a gyroscope in the lens will, and camera will pick up, whereas the low frequency one, which is the camera shake that you can have hand from heartbeats, etc., that aren't really testable in the CEPA standards. So this whole system will give a much nicer kind of effect uh, re regarding sort of a camera shake. It's, really it's got kind of good. really nice dual pixel uh, face tracking yeah, on right again, now. The it's just pixel, tracking your face. Yeah, it'll stay on my face. Uh, and again, it's coupled with a very nice dual pixel AF. So if you want to override it and you can touch the focus screen and you'll get a nice smooth focus change between me and the background. Nice. And uh, this is another lens that's coming? This is the 28 to 70. This is coming a bit later this year. This is a constant F2 zoom. So, which is amazing? Which is amazing. Again, it's going to be fantastic for video operation, etc., or weddings or portraits, because it's got that F2 lens aperture, which will basically allow you to blur the background very nicely, um, which is not possible with any other sort of zoom lens of this type. This one is amazing, but it's not stabilized, right? It's not stabilized. Again, the quest for this was to make it the best image quality possible for this sort of focal length. Photography this, mostly. Yeah, for photography. Uh, but if you think about many video operations with a rig of this size, this is no bigger than most cine lenses anyway. We you could put it on a gimbal. Yeah, again, if you look at the cine lenses, the cine primes, they're actually smaller than this. So this can, you know, this can replicate many other sort of zoom lenses or still lenses on the market. Um, and again, with the smart processing system that the lens has, you know, as you zoom, the focus breathing is minimized by the system compensating by itself. So, you know, we feel it's gonna to appeal to a, a wide range of people. And it's, again, what we find with lenses are, when you buy a lens, you keep a good lens much longer than you keep your camera. So you invest in glass and people will keep it as they transition through different cameras. So, you know, a good lens isn't really just for one lens. We want to have lenses for the future as well as for today to show people we're committed and when you expand and you upgrade, we'll have some lenses for you rather than having to wait by a great body and have to wait for a lens to come along. We want the lens there on, you know, for the, the high-end customers when they're available. So this, for, uh, this 24 to 105 is F4. Yeah, this F2 is a big jump. Oh yeah, there's two different sort of markets. This is our L series and this is our most, one of the most popular lenses from any sort of uh, system, you know, and this is like the kit lens, this is your starter. What we see with this sort of product is people who use the camera a lot for travel photography, so this is a fantastic range of focal lengths, and it does a lot of very useful things. Uh, so it's a good starter, all round, multi purpose lens. And then we are making specialist lenses as well, such as this, the 51.2, and the really nice compact 35 F18. Nice, uh, just to test uh, quickly a little bit, uh, so. Uh, well, well, because I'm at 24 and it's a crop, right? So it's kind of like a 50 or something? Uh, uh, yeah, it's about 42, uh, something, yeah, yeah. something like that. So uh, let, let, can, can we just walk just over there? Uh, so you're showing the EOS R to uh, all the people can try it at the booth? Yeah, Let's walk um, we have the EOS R zone over here. So uh, we're obviously showing the camera and people can come and try. We have a shooting subject. We have a range of lenses they can try out. Uh, we even have a dark room hidden over here, so you can actually experience what minus six EV actually looks like. But what does it look like? With what lens can you actually use it with? What the minus six EV? Yeah, is it any? Uh, minus six EV is a uh, fifty mil one point two. Again, yeah. with a slower lens, it won't focus in such low light. It the fifty mil also no stabilization, right? No, again, that lens was chasing the image quality. That's the priority of that lens was to demonstrate what the mount is capable of optically. Uh, and what is possible, they've not been done before. So but if I wanted to uh, to have a much wider, I could use EF, uh, what's it called, those other yeah, lenses? You've got the adapter, so you've got the EFS, so a really great lens is sort of the 10 to 18 mil, which is amazing quality lens for the price. Um, and it's really kind of beautifully kind of the pitch quality. That's the kind of lens that goes into the M15? No, it goes with the sort of um, 200D or the 80D. 
So it's yeah, it's designed for um, sort of entry level users. So it was new to photography, what's very wide lens for the, and for the smaller sensor size, the APS-C, but it fits perfectly for the 4K filming on this camera. And optically, it's really amazing. It has IS for the price. It's really one of those standout lenses that we do. But it's 10 to 18? 10 to 18. And so then when you put it on, there will be it's a about 17 mil, yeah. So, so it's going to go to 17, yeah. which is uh, great for video blogging, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of great for video. And again, how, how much is that lens, the price? It's only about four Only 400 something? Euros, yeah, it's 400, 40? No. 400. 400. 400. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can we do quickly just around? So just testing this uh, stable. Now I can do the something that a lot of people want to do. Uh, they want to they want a video blog. So right here I'm, I'm holding it, uh, doing the video blogging, which is, that's what people call video blogging, is selfie. Yeah, so, yeah that's a very popular mark. We see it's kind of very popular in uh, the US, this sort of high-end video blogging yeah. with this kind of product. Well, watch out, there's a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of quite popular, but you know, obviously Europe doesn't have quite the same yeah breadth of video bloggers as they do in saving the uh, US. But again, the product is a global product and it will appeal to different users and different customers in different markets. The, the, your, the Canon booth is so big, you ha even have a huge map for all the stuff yeah, yeah. that's going we, on. Even a map that shows you around and shows you what everything is. Right. What's happening, guys? You want me to tell you what's going on around the booth? Uh, so there's the ESR here and the camcorders yeah. over there? Uh, oh. So really, we've got our whole... EOS R system is dedicated to this whole area, yeah. which you can see behind us. Okay. Now, over here, this is our entire eco booth, uh, ecosystem. DSLR? This is going to have all of our other products, yeah. backs, lenses, video cameras. Yep. Camcorders there. This is a business lounge. Okay. This right here is the huge spotlight theater. Right from the outside. Theater. Nice. And then, yep, you got it. Yeah. Thanks. So, a uh, very busy conference, right? Yeah, we are. we're showing the full range of Canon products. We have the print gallery with all our printers over here as well. So, we're showing all the work by our ambassadors. We have ambassadors on the stage talking about their work and how using the EOSR in their special environments. And we also have the expert bar where basically we have the camcorders and every product. So, you can go over there, you can speak to a Canon expert, and you can touch and try everything, you can put anything on any camera. You know, if you want to try 800mm and put it on our 4000D entry level camera, you can do that over there. It's like, basically, it's, a, it's where you can get any sort of question answered. I think the dual pixel looks amazing on the LCE right now. It's yeah. very, very stable, very perfect. Uh, well, yeah, and then I uh, just yeah. wish it would have no crop on the video and then uh, with the all set. Said, yeah, the video for this feature, this product was a, uh, the key market video wasn't a key feature of that intended market. Yeah. So and the lens is very stable, but it would yeah. be nice, I guess, with the uh, IBIS also. Yeah, but it would yeah, be even more stable, but right? This lens will work on any kind of future body as well. That's the joy of the EOS system. Everything works with EOS. Everything. So, yeah, the reason it's called the EOS R is because it's part of the EOS system. So any lens since 1987 will work with this camera. Any flash gun we've introduced will work with this camera. It's, it's part of the US family, so everything is interchangeable with each other.